Hey guys, Tiki Tech Guru here. So, um, I believe about yesterday, Microsoft finally rolled out Microsoft OneNote. And I am really happy about that because I want to be able to do my OneNote work on my Mac. And finally, it's here. So, I'm really happy about that. Um, okay, well, at least March 17 which is not too long ago because today's only the 21st so it's only been like four days so anyways here it is I'm gonna go ahead and install it you know alright guys so you see here now it's installing and it should be really a short install it shouldn't take too much time so here's the progress of it and yep it's getting there now um also i wanted to make a quick announcement as well but you can see some other uh, apps that i have downloaded and these got are free it's especially the mac fonts creative font which i'm about to do a separate video on and that's just because i want to take things one step at a time but anyways the download for the one note should be completed uh, it's getting there at least installing and everything right alrighty alright guys so you see here there it is it's completed we're gonna go ahead and click on it we are on our way to OneNote now we're gonna go ahead and hit next hit next hit get started and I'm gonna go ahead and sign in and basically it's gonna load my uh, Microsoft account you know of all the one notebooks that I have now if you're new to this definitely create an account and you get seven gigs free for anything and you can even create documents in the cloud and I've done two videos about that on the website so you can check them out uh, with the links in the description and you can even click on the annotations but uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the annotations done alright guys so when you log in and use your credentials uh, definitely check mark the thing saying or uh, you know say send recommend which is the recommended option to help Microsoft improve and then click start to make your way into OneNote alright guys so I've basically gone in full screen and um, you know to show you what OneNote looks like on the Mac and it looks really nice I will say um, and here you can access if you click here you can see all the uh, notebooks that you have so I have one for my science, for my U.S. history, and for my English project that I had, which was pretty much an exciting project. And I will do some videos later on things I liked doing this year within in my school. So definitely keep a watch on that. Now, I'm not going to promise it, but I do plan on doing a couple of videos like that. But anyways... So uh, you don't really need to save, and you can like maneuver here and there, you know, uh, with those buttons, the left button and the right button. Here, I guess that's what you're gonna have to call it. With this left or right button. Yeah. Okay. So moving on. So if you wanted to add a or create a new notebook, basically go to the file over here, and then just click on new, and then select a color for your new book, and just call your book whatever you have to name it and everything is pretty much straightforward because all you have to do is just type type and type and everything is just saved there so that's pretty much a what there is guys in terms of the interface on OneNote for the Mac but please do get it and check it out because finally did Microsoft ever release such like after such long wait did they release release you know such a product that we've been waiting for because it was available for mac only online if you went online but now i like the fact that you can even do your work offline too and then once you get over somewhere to wi-fi you can sync all of this stuff 
all the notes that you took because once you're automatically connected, you're connected. So there it is, guys. So there it is, guys. And that's pretty much a, of a wrap-up on the video.